I'm going to be demonstrating a lateral glide using actually a gait belt um, for the mobilization of movement for a person who would have lateral epicondalgia. Um, my patient is lying supine and I'm on her affected side. As I said before, I have a gait belt. You could use a mobilization belt over the shoulder, but I actually have it around the waist. And I have her slung through and the belt is right at the um, proximal end of her radial humeral joint and my hand is stabilizing on the lateral portion of the, her distal humerus. So I'm going to draw back my, uh, just step back just a little ways, which actually gives a lateral glide to that radial ulnar joint. And I'm going to uh, apply a, an isometric force here at her wrist and ask my patient to just bring her wrist into extension, raise her wrist up, have her hold there, and then relax. We would do about three sets of 10. As I would, um, the patient improves, we can increase um, or change the type of motion that the patient would do. So the uh, as she progresses, we can progress to an eccentric movement. So I'm gonna have her pull up, and then I would push her down into flexion. And the other would be active. I would have her actively bring her wrist up and down as I continue to hold her in this lateral glide. So the indications for this is for lateral epicondalgia and the contraindications would be if the patient has uh, the possibility of a fracture here at the radius or ulna, uh, if the patient is actually having pain in that extension of the elbow, and also any uh, hyper or hyper mobility of that joint.